Hey, Rockford Jake here. Today I'm joined by Dr. Widener from Frost Family Pet Clinic. How's it going, hey, Dr. Widener? Good, Jake. Good to see you again. Yeah, thanks for having me. Today we are not in the lobby. We are in a very special room um, because uh, you guys are a veterinary clinic and you tend to focus on something that's super important for the health of our pets. Absolutely. So one of the main things that we do here at Frost Family Pet Clinic um, is a lot of surgeries. Um, in particular, I enjoy doing surgeries, so that's an area of focus that we really try to strive and excel in. Um, so in the surgery room here, um, you'll see we have a number of things set up in here. Um, a couple of the key things that are really important in our surgical procedures is that all of our patients are put under gas anesthesia. So okay. they have a tube that goes down into their trachea, which delivers oxygen as well as that gas anesthesia to keep them sleepy. Um, the oxygen is super important to make sure that they are, are all their organs are happy and yes. staying oxygenated. <laughs> so, um, similar to what you might see in a human hospital. We have a lot of things in here that kind of play in and are similar things. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. All of our patients uh, receive an IV catheter and then IV fluids throughout their procedures. Okay. That is really important because we want to make sure that those organs are getting adequate blood supply so that fluids helps them stay perfused is what we call that. Gotcha. And then um, it also uh, makes sure that we can deliver medications through that IV catheter should we need to get okay. additional medications to keep them safe. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, some other things that we are always checking on is we're using our surgical monitor here. Uh, and that helps us check in and make sure that their respiratory rate is going well so that they're breathing appropriately. Mm -hmm. It helps us check in on their heart rate, making sure that that's at an adequate level. We check their blood pressure and we check their temperature throughout their procedures. So it's basically like all the stuff that I would find if like I was in the hospital and hooked up. One hundred percent. With all the beeping and the noises. Yes, and yes, the exactly. And stuff. Yes. So, um, and it, the person that monitors all of this is one of my uh, licensed veterinary technicians. Um, so one of the important things is that we always have one of those licensed technicians who is with our patients from the very moment that they step into the clinic for their day of surgery, mm -hmm. and that technician um, makes sure that the patient is staying safe, that they're getting their medications appropriately, that they're being monitored throughout the anesthetic procedure um, and then they also are staying with them right up until the time when they have been recovered uh, so once we move out of the surgery room we put them into a nice cushy warm kennel and my technicians stay right there until that tube comes out of their throat and they are recovering and ready to go back home again nice and that's something that you guys do that's different from a lot of other veterinary clinics right it's just like that level of care that your licensed technician gives throughout the entire procedure 100 percent yeah. yes yeah we want to make sure that our patients are getting the best safest um most awesome care that we can possibly provide. And our technicians actually go through a formal process. Um, they, they go through a formal schooling, they go through formal testing, um, take boards exams, as well as actually have a certificate um, that says they are licensed. <laughs> they they, are, they, they really know well. what they're doing. Yeah, this isn't something that it's just like, you know, on the job training, right? Correct. Like they have to go through a board certification process in order to do this. And yes, and that's something that we really, really find as an important part um, because they are truly uh, operating or you know functioning as a nurse would in a hospital setting. Yeah, absolutely. And that is super, super amazing. Um, for those that want to learn more about Frost Family Pet Clinic and kind of get an inside scoop as far as like the different services that you offer and like how all this kind of stuff that we talked about, all this like fancy technical stuff impacts their pet's health and their pet's care. Like where can they go to find you? So more information um, is available on our website, which is frostfamilypetclinic.com. Um, and we also have our Facebook page. You can look us up at uh, frostfamilypetclinic.com. Or awesome. no, just frostfamilypetclinic. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Dr. Weiner, for taking the time to get together and chat. And thank Thanks, you, Jake. Rockford, for tuning in. If you have a uh, four-legged good family member and are looking for someone to take good care of them when they're not feeling so well, definitely come to Frost Family Pet Clinic and talk to Dr. Widener because um, they will take excellent care of them in all the ways that I, I don't, you know, it's like above my head, right? Because I'm a camera <laughs> geek, but um, it sounds like super legit. So, um, but thanks Rock, for tuning in. Thank you to all of our business sponsors and our backers that make content like this possible. It's because of their support and able to highlight local businesses like Frost Family Pet Clinic and bring you all this rock positive content for free through the power of the internet. So thank you so much to them. We'll catch you on the flip side. All right.